What's up guys, it's Eric. I'm out here with the new Team Corrale Kagama. A really cool looking truck, uh, super beefy. Uh, really impressed by the design of this thing. First of all, Team Corrale did a really cool job on this body. This thing looks really nice, really nice styling. I love this matte grayish black right here with the blue. Of course, you got three different colors to choose from. I did do a little bit of reinforcing in the body and also put some Velcro right here on the edges just to kind of hold the body down from flapping right here in midair and stuff because it is kind of flimsy right there and you don't want to be uh, doing a big jump or a speed run and your body's uh, flopping right there. So adding some Velcro will uh, definitely help with that. I'm running this truck stock out of the box, except for I did go to a 15 tooth pinion from the stock 13 tooth, which may be too much because this thing is geared differently than like the Arma 8th scales. So we'll just have to keep a, uh, keep an eye on the temps. I did give this thing a yard test and it's got loads of power. I mean, she'll almost do standing back flips uh, with these tires. Um, unfortunately, the stock servo did crap out on me. So I ended up putting in a, a trusty Power HD uh, 23 kilogram servo. I was just yard testing uh, going up and down the street and the servo started acting up and it locked up. I'm not sure if it was a fluke or what, but I went ahead and swapped in for the good old Power HD. Diffs on this thing are still all stock. I haven't touched anything. The ESC is all stock settings, even the punch, except I did go up on the brake a little bit to 62%. Again, overall, Team Corelli did a really good job of designing this thing. I just looking at it as far as all the bracing and stuff. I mean, it's crazy, especially this wing mount back here. I really love how this is braced up around the tower and stuff, so it shouldn't be too easy to break that wing mount. Quick shot of this nice chassis right here, Team Corrale, engineered to be the fastest and uh, push your limits. So we'll definitely be pushing the truck's limits. Just to give you guys a heads up, uh, M2C Racing is now making parts for Team Corrale. Uh, these are in testing. These are prototypes, but beautiful machined uh, 7075 towers right here and some beautiful M2C Racing carbon fiber towers, which I believe are available now if you guys want to check those out. And also some beautiful uh, bladderless shock caps and uh, Darren pistons to uh, make that thing nice and smooth. So I'll be testing uh, some of this stuff in the next run, but I wanted to give this truck a run bone stock first and uh, see how it stands. I can't wait to get this M2C bling on there for sure. Oh yeah, she's touchy. <laughs> first tumble. Right on the wing. Oh, yeah, guys, definitely gonna have to get used to this truck. Guys, I don't think this thing can handle my throttle style. <laughs> All right, guys, in that short run, she already went into thermal, so I'm gonna check the uh, temps real quick. Yeah, we got, ooh, 214 on the motor. Ooh, about 170 on the ESC, so that's definitely too hot. I may throw on the backflip LPs and uh, try it again. All right, guys, got the LPs on it. I think it looks really nice with them, too. Let's we'll see how she does. Oh, yeah, already can hold her down way better. Much better, much better. Oh, 
ah, right on that arm. Guys, that jump off that mount completely disintegrated this front drive shaft right here, completely busted the CVD right there at the ball. So that's gonna be an M2C racing upgrade coming soon for sure. Uh, guys, this truck is, I'm still getting used to this truck. It's got kind of a lag in the, in the throttle for some reason. So I can't make those quick corrections I'm used to. I don't know if it's the ESC or what. So maybe throwing in a Max 6 here soon. But anyway, threw on a new shaft and let's send it. the brake that time <laughs> this had a little bit of a lag into it and i even turned the brake up to 62 percent well, she's still going team corelli tough Things taking a hammering. Boom. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for the first test run. It did end up breaking off this wing mount right here on a roll. It was off camera, unfortunately, but it just uh, pulled right through the screws and broke this uh, extra bracing right here. So I'm off to order a new wing mount. Team Corelli did a really good job on this truck. Uh, it is engineered very well. Has really nice bracing in it. But just like anything else, uh, if you're going to bash hard, it's going to need upgrades and uh, tuning to your liking. Everything on the inside of the truck seems to be intact, except I did uh, end up bending this back brace right here. Not sure when that happened but I'll be able to, to just uh, take that off and bend it back. Take a quick look at the chassis. It is pretty straight, which is uh, pretty good being a, th a stock three millimeter chassis. Of course, I didn't hammer on it too hard as far as the sins and stuff. Once we gear this baby up, put belted guitars on it, then we'll see how that chassis holds up. There's definitely an M2C racing chassis in the works for this thing, four millimeter, 7075. So that's definitely gonna give this thing the beefcake bottom that it needs. Unfortunately, I blew an LP backflip right here uh, doing these field launches. So my run kind of got cut short as far as that goes, but this thing needs some diff tuning because it's diffing out really bad, which is blowing the tires. I've went through two backflips already. Again, big shout out to the guys at Team Corelli. They got some really awesome stuff coming out here lately. And they've uh, definitely stepped it up a notch with their with their engineering and their bracing. And a really cool car. Had a lot of fun driving it. Just had to get used to it. I uh, definitely uh, need to do some tuning to fit my style. But it was a whole lot of fun. And we'll get out again soon. Until next time, RC Dude 81. Peace out. Hey.